Now, earlier this month, permission was given to the former Dwee Vinery in Guernsey to become the island's first commercial cannabis farm. The site will legally grow the drug for medicinal use, specifically for health supplements. It's an industry that remains controversial, but there are places around the world where it's more established. I've been speaking to Dr. Lakeisha Jenkins, who founded the California Cannabis Industry Association, and began by asking her how advanced the industry is there compared to Guernsey. Well, I would have to say that considering California was the first to legalize on a medical level in the world, um, and we did so back in 1996, that we've had a long time to sort of work out the issues regarding the industry, how to properly operate, production methods and standards, and coming up with strains that are really highly medicinal or something that we definitely specialize in. And is it still controversial there, given the amount of time that's passed since this first started? Absolutely and positively. And one of those reasons being is, although we legalized on a medical level in 1996, we didn't actually regulate our medical cannabis industry until 2016 is when the regulations actually went into place. So we had about 20 years of running without firm regulations on the industry. What, in your view, can Guernsey learn from what's happened in California over the last 20 or so years? I think what they can learn from California is definitely how to do things right when it comes to considering cannabis an agricultural commodity and treating it as an agricultural commodity. We need to look at it as more of agriculture and nutrition and a supplement as opposed to a dangerous drug. And I think that that's the one thing that California does right and one page that every country could take out of California's book. Because that's not an easy balance to make, is it? There are still those people who hear the word cannabis, they think of the drug, they think of people using this for recreational means and they fear that growing it for health supplement means will lead to more acceptance of this as a recreational drug. People that are interested in cannabis as a whole sometimes get a little tunnel vision and very focused on just the cannabis itself. And they don't realize and understand that it acts exactly the same as any other botanical and any other nutritional supplement. And finally, do you also see benefits for the area in having this as an industry which they can control rather than having to import it to, to have the control over it themselves? Absolutely. And I'll give you an example. I've been working very closely in Jamaica. I've actually relocated um, to Jamaica to work on the cannabis industry there. And what I'm seeing is that government coming together to support the indigenous farmers, to support the people that have been growing cannabis and using it as sacrament historically, and figuring out ways that it contributes positively to the GDP of the country and creates a sort of, not only an economic development opportunity, but an economics independence opportunity as well. Okay, Dr. Lakeisha Jenkins, we'll have to leave it there, but thank you very much for your insight into that today. Sure. Thank you. Thank you for having me.